Hello friends and students. I'm back again like I promised. Now this video, next video is about the minor scale. Okay? So why do we need the minor scale? Well, when in music, you have to create a standard or something in order to create a sensation or feeling uh, being a little sad or maybe a close or gloomier. Um, because like you already know, when you watch movie, if there's no music, that's basically the movie is worth nothing, okay? Because the music creates a sensation of being sad, being lonely, uh, being afraid, uh, being happy, you know, being excited, joyful, whatever. It comes from music. Now, in music, uh, from our forefather who create um, the music that we know now, they came up with a formula, okay? Now, if you watch my previous video on the major scale, you would know, uh, you would understand what I'm saying. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about the minor scale. So, you see minor scale used for song that are for slow dance, or for the for a romantic moment, um, <clears throat> thing like that. So, or sad, anything that really sad. Now, minor scale can also make it even sadder if you diminish it. Or you can augment it. Okay? So, I just want to explain further of how the minor scale work. Okay? All right. So let's get started. As you can look on screen right now, and you can see that's the formula for the minor scale. The formula for minor scale is from the first note to the second note. It has to be a whole step. That's what the W stands for. And for second note to the third note, it has to be half step. Okay? And from third note to fourth note, it has to be a whole step. And from fourth to fifth, it has to be another whole step. And from fifth to sixth, it has to be a half step. Okay? And then from sixth to seven, it has to be a whole step. And seven to eight is another whole step. Okay? So let's go ahead and do with this. I'm going to pick A minor scale. So it's a simple scale, uh, easy. Um, and then I'll pick a more slightly more difficult to show you. Okay? All right. Now let's start out with A. That's note number one. So the note number two have to be B, correct? So we have A here. Number two. We make sure that it have to be a whole step away from each other. So half, half. So that's whole, right? That's perfect. So that note number two. Now the formula required that from two to three have to be half, right? So from B to C, it has to be half. When for some reason, it's perfectly half, all right? So you don't have to worry about adding sharp or flat to it. And now from three to four, it has to be whole. And it happened to be C to D, that's whole, okay? So four. And then from 4 to 5, it need to be whole too, right? 4 to 5. So it need to be whole. So from D to E, that's perfectly whole also. All right? And now from 5 to 6, it need to be half, right? That's the H. So half. So F, some, for some reason, for A minor, it's just perfect. Okay? So you so have 6. From 6 to 7, it has to be a whole, right? So from F to G, that's a whole step. So that's perfect for you there. Okay? Now from 7 to 8, it also needs to be whole. So that's whole. Okay? So A major, uh, I'm sorry, A minor in this case. A minor will sound like this. And you can hear that it's not as bright as C. Okay? So this is C major right here. Okay? So because of the, st the step between them, the pattern is causing A to be just a little bit darker, okay? 
Now, even if I play D C a little bit lower, which is sound itself was already darker, so throw this side, it's still brighter. <laughs> So when you play this scale, or you like, you need to learn to feel the mood, okay, and recognize it within yourself, because if you don't, you can't do that. Then when you hear a song play, you would not be able to recognize that, okay. So this is A minor. For some reason, it falls perfectly, so it doesn't need any of the black key, okay. But let's pick another example. Let's pick E, okay? So let me do a treble clef, and let's pick E, okay? And we try to create a minor scale out of E, all right? So E minor, we're gonna create a minor scale out of it. So based on the formula here, one note one to note two, have to be whole step, correct? So you have E here. You go to half, half to F, it's a half, so that doesn't work. You have to go to F sharp to, to get a whole step, okay? So one to two. So this F right here have to be F sharp, step number two. Now from two to three, in the minor scale formula, it demands that it from two to three have to be half step. So from F sharp down, uh, up, that's a G, okay? So it's perfect on G. So that's the third step, okay? Now from three to four, no, no four, three to four, it need to require a full step. So perfect, G to A, that's a whole step. Okay, there's a black key in the middle, right? Okay, now from A, uh, now from fourth to fifth, have to be a whole step also. Okay, so fourth to fifth, that's whole step. A to B, that's perfect. Okay, and now from fifth to sixth, that's a half step they require. All right, so, <clears throat> so you go from here to here. That's a half step, that's perfect. Five to six. Okay? Now from six to seven, it have to be a whole step. So from C to D, that's a whole step, right? Half, half. So that's a whole step. Okay? And then from seven to eight, it's a whole step too. So perfect to E. Okay? All right, so that's why, for those who have played the scale already, you know that E minor have one sharp, and that is a F sharp, okay? So that's why F sharp will put in E minor. So basically, what I'm saying is you can pick any note on the piano. Any note, even the black note, any note. And you use this formula, and you can create a, a minor scale for that. The same thing with ma major scale. If you can pick any note and follow the major scale formula, you can create a major scale for that note. Okay? Uh, excuse me for that. I burps a little. All right. Anyway, so this is the minor scale. Okay? So please uh, learn them. You need to memorize this. Okay? The same thing is for the major scale. You need to memorize the formula. If you don't, uh, you're not going to be able to create anything. All right? And then uh, later on, I will create a harmonic scale and a melodic scale or jazz scale, uh, which is there's some formula to that as well. Okay? But there's some variation. But the major and the minor scale are the main one. Okay? It's the main. Um, thing and then from that they deviate a little bit and add things more sharp or flat or whatever in the in in them. All right. So in this case, the E minor scale is played like this. Okay, A minor scale. All right. 
So um, I hope this helped. And if you have any question, drop in the comment section and ask me. If you have any uh, comment to share with me, then please do so as well. Um, I hope this helped. And please feel free to, um, to learn and also to ask me questions. Okay? So I'm creating this video just to help my students. Um, and for those who are learning online, feel free to learn. Okay? And good luck to all of you, whoever watching this video. And thank you for watching. And uh, all right, God bless. Bye-bye for now.